There is a rumor going around on different social media platforms that is kind of getting a considerable amount of attention. It is being said that something really huge and groundbreaking is going to happen at the end of Godzilla x Kong the New Empire which will change the entire landscape of the MonsterVerse going forward. This has led to a lot of people speculating that Kong might actually die at the hands of Shimo during the course of the final battle of the movie. In this video, I am going to analyze the credibility of this rumor and the possibility of it turning out to be true. I also have something huge to share with you regarding the Great Titan War and its connection with the storyline of Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. We also have some exciting new updates on a certain fan favorite kaiju who is apparently officially confirmed to make an appearance in the movie. Before going further however, I just want to make a quick and brief statement. Talking about science fiction movies, games and TV shows is my biggest passion. If you want me to continue on this journey, I just want you guys to do me a small and simple favor. Please spend one second of your time to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It truly truly means a lot. Okay, now let us come back to the main topic once again. There is no denying the fact that Kong is no match for Titan Shimo by any means. From everything we have heard and read about Shimo so far, there is absolutely no doubt about the fact that she can literally manhandle Kong with no difficulty at all. Make no mistake, we are talking about a Titan who literally caused the freaking Ice Age all by herself. On the other hand, Kong is just an oversized ape with considerable amount of physical strength and agility. And unlike Godzilla, Legendary Studios have full ownership and control over Kong's character which means they can kill off the character whenever they want. So, yes, technically, it is entirely possible for Kong to die at the end of the movie. I know I am pissing off a lot of my viewers especially fans of Kong in particular. But there is really no other way of putting it. It is a hard and bitter truth that Kong literally stands no chance against Shimo. But, the good news is that, I really do not think this rumor is anywhere close to being true. It will be a really stupid and dumb idea to kill off Kong so early on in the franchise. Kong is literally the most money-making character within the MonsterVerse. If we look at all the four MonsterVerse movies so far, Kong Skull Island still remains the most commercially successful earning over $570 million at the worldwide box office. The MonsterVerse at the moment are looking to expand into a major cinematic universe and build a strong fanbase like Marvel, DC and Star Wars. So, it will be a really stupid move to kill off their biggest asset and the most fan-favorite character. So I request my viewers to not believe in such baseless and nonsensical rumors unless I cover it on my channel. With that, I am going to move on to my next big update. At this point, I want to make something very clear to my viewers. I am now going to enter into bit of a spoiler territory. Whatever I discuss beyond this point in the video could be a potential spoiler. So, I request those of you who do not want any kind of prior knowledge about the storyline of the movie to leave the video. Those who are still watching, I believe have no problems with any kind of spoilers. Okay, with that small little warning, let us begin. I have been telling you several times on my channel, that Titan Shimo is apparently the very first Titan to arrive on the planet. Now I am getting to know that Shimo is being referred to as the mother of all Titans. She is said to be so powerful that she can almost be considered invincible and unbeatable. She is basically like the Superman of the MonsterVerse. The reason I compared Titan Shimo with Superman is because just like the Man of Steel, despite her insanely high power levels, her weakness lies in a very special and peculiar kind of crystal. There is apparently a very special kind of crystal somewhere inside the Hollow Earth which contains the power to mind control Titan Shimo. I will come back to that in a little while. But before that, I am going to talk about her role in the Great Titan War and explain to you its importance in the context of the storyline of Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. Legendary studios on multiple occasions have teased us the Titan War but so far until now, we have not really had any significant insight. All we really know is that, millions of years ago, even before the age of the dinosaurs, somewhere within the Hollow Earth, an epic battle took place between the ancestors of Godzilla and the Kong. It is said that after a hard-fought battle, the Godzilla species managed to defeat the Kongs and ever since then, the Kong species had to leave their homes within the Hollow Earth to take shelter on the surface of the planet in a location which is currently known as the Skull Island. But what we do not know is what really started this war in the first place. The MonsterVerse has not given us any idea about what really triggered these two mighty powerful Titan to battle each other. Is it simply the case of one species trying to assert its dominance over the other or is there something more? This is exactly where the storyline of Godzilla x Kong more particularly the origin of Scar King comes in to answer this million dollar question. In order for you to understand the real reason for the start of the Great Titan War, you have to understand the history and origins of the main antagonist of the movie, the Scar King. According to reports from people who were present at the most recent test screening, 
Scar King is said to be the very first king and ruler of the Hollow Earth. He belonged to the great orangutan family who ruled over the Hollow Earth for thousands of years because of their high level of intellect and IQ levels. Let me remind you that orangutans are the animals who are closest to human beings in terms of intelligence and IQ levels. It is said that one particular day, one of the members of the family got greedy for power and he planned to kill all of the other members of the family and rule over the empire all by himself. To execute his plan, he decided to take the help of none other than the most powerful titan of all, Shimo herself. In order to get it done, he had to get his hands on the crystal which as I mentioned earlier would give him the ability to mind control Shimo. Scar King does exactly that and leads Shimo to freeze the entire planet thereby causing the Ice Age in the process. This temporarily freezes every single titan on the planet including all other members of the great orangutan family. Scar King then takes advantage of the situation and kills every single member of his family. The giant skulls that we see in the trailer are said to be those of his family members. Scar King then goes on to rule the empire all by himself with Titan Shimo by his side. Over the years, more and more titans started to follow him and his empire began to expand and multiply. Any titan who tried to disobey his orders was brutally killed and tortured. This went on for thousands of years until one day he came face to face with one of the ancestors of our very own king of the monsters, Godzilla. And to everyone's surprise, this time Scar King was actually defeated and his crystal which enabled him to control Titan Shimo was taken away from him. Godzilla then proceeds to bury Scar King somewhere deep inside one of the pits within the Hollow Earth. So, that is how the Hollow Earth eventually got freedom from the tyrannical rule of Scar King. The situation within the Hollow Earth remained rather peaceful for a considerable amount of time. More and more different species of titans started to take birth as time went on. One such species that eventually arrived was the ancestors of our very own King of Skull Island, the Great Kong species. They were basically giant oversized apes who were quite peaceful in nature and did not pose any kind of threat to anyone. Unfortunately on one occasion, one of the Kongs came face to face with a Godzilla who apparently mistakes him to be a descendant of Scar King. As a result, the Big G brutally attacks and heavily injures the Kong who somehow barely survives and manages to escape. He then narrates this incident to the other Kongs who eventually decide to launch a war on the Godzillas. This is what ultimately led to the Great Titan War where the Kongs and the Godzillas were involved in a brutal war. Ultimately, the Kongs were defeated as I mentioned earlier and they were forced to leave their homes and take shelter in Skull Island. So, that was all I had to share with you guys about the Great Titan War. I really cannot wait to witness this epic history lesson unfold on the big screen. It is also speculated that Godzilla x Kong is going to set things up for the second Titan War in the future. Although, there has not been any official confirmation, a second Titan War has been rumored for quite some time to be featured in one of the future movies of the MonsterVerse. That brings me to my last and final update. I have already reported several times that the Queen of the Monsters, Mothra is going to make a return in this movie. This is now officially confirmed because Playmate has started to release Mothra action figures as part of their toy sets officially affiliated to the movie. A fan who was apparently present at the most recent screening of the movie gave us a detailed insight into Mothra's exact role in the movie. According to him Mothra is basically going to act as a mediator and will help Godzilla and Kong put their differences aside and join hands to fight against Scar King and his army. He further goes on to reveal that we are going to see Mothra making use of some of her most classic and iconic powers and abilities. He states that in the final battle, we are going to see her give out a special kind of webbing to trap several members of Scar King's army of apes. We would also see her emitting a special kind of high-intensity radiation which will apparently distract Scar King enabling Godzilla and Kong to take advantage. So, as you can see, Mothra is going to have a much bigger role in the movie than we initially speculated. So, that is all I had to share with you guys in this video. After reading and hearing about all these new details, I am honestly excited beyond words to watch this movie. Let me know your own thoughts on these new details in the comments down below. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.